Hello and welcome to the next Luke Kaiser Retro Game Review video. And for this one it is Night Games, which was released by English Software in 1986. So we're still on the good old Commodore 64. I must be getting on, I think I've done over 80 consecutive Commodore 64 reviews. Still, it is the best gaming machine, so why not? So, um, this is basically a sort of hybrid between, you know, the sort of beat em up or hack em up, whatever you want to call them, of Barbarian, and a sort of summer games type uh, game, because each uh, stage is actually uh, set in. Uh, as an event as part of a uh, tournament so uh, there are the uh, eight uh, different events although most of them are very very similar to each other so uh, there is sword fight one quarter staff archery ball and chain that event really annoys me it's not ball and chain that weapon they're using is a morning star it's not a fucking ball and chain and then there's Sword Fight 2, Pike Staff, which again doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's either a pike or it's a staff, you know, one or the other. Uh, then Crossbow and then Axeman. So basically the events are split into the two categories. There are the two uh, ranged uh, events with Crossbow and Archery. And then the other six are all combat e events. Now, I'm not going to show you all of the uh, events in this game. And uh, you'll soon realise why. But, uh, well, let's pick an event. So we'll start with the first one. You can play any of the events in any order you like. Uh, so we'll start with uh, Sword Fight 1. So it asks us to uh, position the tape. I don't know why, because I'm playing a disc disc image. So uh, let's load it up. It is a multi-load game. Uh, thankfully, the events don't take very long to load. Well, they don't on the uh, emulator here. I suspect that uh, <coughs> on uh, yeah, the uh, cassette version back in the day, they probably took a fucking horrendous amount of time. So now we can set uh, the game time between 4, 6 and 8 minutes. Believe me, 4 minutes is plenty long enough. In fact, it's more than long enough. It should have really been 2, 4 or 6 minutes. Uh, so then you have game type, so you can either have 2 player or against the computer. You can choose to have the music on or off. I keep the music on. So, uh, off we go. So, I am the blue knight, alright, the blue and white knight, and uh, the computer is the uh, blue and yellow. And basically it is, you know, just a la barbarian. You keep hit, hacking away, trying to take your uh, opponent out. Now, if you look down the uh, left hand side, you first of all see the uh, candle, that is your timer. Uh, so, so that uh, is showing us, well, four minutes in this particular one. Then below that is the hit count, how many uh, hits you can take. Uh, then across the top there you see the uh, shields. Um, each shield represents each time that you've uh, taken enough of a hit that uh, your hit points then get reset. So as you can see, I've been, well, I had to uh, have mine reset twice. The computer has had to have his reset three times. Every two times that uh, the uh, hit points get reset counts as a knockout. And once all the, uh, the, the shields across the top have uh, been used up, 
then uh, the, the combat is over. As you can see, I'm not doing too badly, though I am about to uh, have my hit points reset. But then I've knocked him out two more times than uh, he has me. I do find that I am a lot better at the combat games here than I am at the archery games. So that's him knocked out again. If I knock him out two more times then uh, that will be, uh, bring this event to an end. And so obviously uh, at the bottom of the screen is uh, your score and the computer uh, player score or what would be a player 2 score if you were doing a 2 player game. Now graphically I think the game is is great. Um, some good uh, background graphics and I think the uh, the actual graphics on the, the two knights also look quite impressive. And the movement is pretty good as well, so I only have to knock him out uh, once more, which is two more uh, hit point resets. Uh, audio, the the uh, sound effects I think sound great. The uh, you know, good sound of the uh, hitting the uh, shield or hitting their armor and whatever. So yeah, I think the audio is great. The music is reasonable it's, it's not fantastic it's a David Whitaker uh, soundtrack um, he has done better though to be honest with David Whitaker I've always much preferred his uh, Amiga work than his Commodore 64 music I'm not so keen on his uh, Commodore 64 music so anyway that is the event over looks like I uh, beat him quite uh, convincingly So I should get, yeah, 10,400. That's uh, about average. So we get to put our uh, well, three uh, initials there. It's on the uh, Roll of Honor. So the next event would be uh, Quarter Staff, which is played in exactly the same way. The locations change for all of the events. Um, but uh, I'll show you one of the uh, range events now, so we'll do the archery event. So again, we have to wait for that to load. No problem, uh, so on the emulator it doesn't take too long, so it's not terrible. So now it's, uh, the time is three, four or five minutes. Uh, I don't quite know how the two-player game works on the uh, um, ranged events like this. I, I can only assume that you just take it in turns. But, uh, I've never played two-player games with uh, night games, so I couldn't tell you. So let's get the game underway. Now, with this one, is it no real surprise. You need to just get your aim right and try and hit the moving uh, targets which is a lot easier said than done the target uh, well yeah your, your target uh, is constantly uh, moving and of course you've also got to get the timing right as far as uh, how long it takes the arrow there you go hit that one to uh, actually reach the target so, to, um, but this event I find a bit dreary it just goes on for far too long this is an event where it should have you know the timing options it should give you one two or three minutes uh, nowhere near Uh, so, it, yeah, I mean, as you can see, I'm fucking hopeless at this event. Well, there are several times when I, when I do miss, it's 
that wasn't close, but yeah, there are a few occasions where I can get relatively close to it, like there. But I still missed the fucking thing. There we go. So I'm not so keen on uh, on this uh, event. There are well, there are several uh, other events so I must refer to this one. Uh, I don't really like using the warp feature uh, when reviewing, but in the case of this, I'm going to have to. It just goes on for too long. Uh, there we go. So, as always, I did absolutely fucking terrible in that one. So, uh, we'll do another uh, uh, combat one then. So let's, uh, well the quarter staff one I'm not so keen on. Uh, the uh, Morning Star one, if you check out the review of this game by Ganstees, he does the Morning Star event, so uh, I'll show one different. Let's try the uh, Pike uh, combat. Alright, so again, setting your time, uh, who you're playing against, music on or off, let's uh, get underway. As you can see, it's, it's played in much the same way as uh, the, the sword fighting game. And, um, yeah, it, the same thing applies to uh, all of the uh, combat events. They do just all seem to play very, very similarly to each other. And uh, therein lies one of the big problems with this game. Um, I'll... Uh, I might as well get the review underway. Well, I've already covered the graphics and the audio, but yeah, the, the the problem with the gameplay is that there is very little in the way of variety. Um, in the combat events, as well as going on too long, um, although there are six different uh, combat uh, events here, they all play pretty much the same. Uh, what really uh, makes it even worse is that uh, although there are eight uh, different moves for defensive and for attacking, I find myself using the same two or three moves all the time and I can win quite easily as a result. Uh, there's there's no like variation in uh, the uh, computer player's ability. It, so once you figured out how to uh, beat the uh, computer, you don't have to. Uh, you know you, you really don't have to worry about it anymore. You know you're going to win every time. Um, the only difference is the uh, how long each battle goes on for, but I don't think that changes how good or how bad the uh, computer player is. I'm actually uh, losing. The oh no, I'm not losing this one. I thought I was. Actually, I'm way ahead. I'm just looked at the uh, uh, yeah the shields there. So. nine hits ahead so so I mean uh, when, when you play it for the first you know sort of like half dozen times or so it, it, it is quite fun I suppose um, but yeah when you start to uh, once you've had several goes of it, if even in your first go, once you uh, start up, say the, the the fifth 
or even the fourth uh, combat event, and you realise, fucking hell, this place is exactly the same as the all the other combat events, it does start to wane a bit. It could have been uh, a fantastic game if there was a bit more variety in the gameplay. You know, if they followed the uh, Summer Games uh, sort of uh, idea a bit more closely and uh, had each event requiring you to do, you know, different things in order to play it instead of just, you know, it's always, oh, here we go, yeah, another hack em up. So, you know, you know exactly what to expect. Now, okay, with the uh, uh, the ranged uh, events, the archery and the uh, uh, crossbow, there is a little variation, but I do mean a little. I'll, uh, 10,200, that wasn't so good. Oh, and I'll show you the crossbow event. Oh, I think this will be the last event I'll show. Right, so again, we'll just uh, go straight into it. So this time you're firing against uh, rotating targets, which don't uh, actually move anywhere, but they will spin round and you can't fire at them when they spin. Now you may think it's ridiculously easy, but uh, you get uh, more points the closer to the centre of the target, and obviously you're not going to get anything if you uh, hit the uh, target when it's uh, spinning round. So I do actually prefer this to the uh, the, the archery one with the with the longbow, but uh, yeah, I don't prefer it. Uh, you know, a vast amount. I still find it a bit tedious and I think it goes on for a bit, you know, too long which, well I'll say that, that's an issue I have with every event and obviously this target I'm going after here, it's the most distant target so you will get uh, more points if you hit it So overall then, with night games, uh, graphically I think it's fantastic, but uh, you know, graphics do not mean that the game is is good. Um, audio, I so I think the sound effects are are really good. The music is okay, but the gameplay it's very very samey. The fuck was that? There's uh, not enough variety in it and uh, the events go on for too long. I don't think it's a, it's a bad game, I just think it could have been so much better. I can't believe that Zap64 gave this 90%. Um, it doesn't deserve that high a score. I will give it uh, 6.5 out of 10. As I say it's it's not you know it's not a bad game but it could have been a lot better really it should have been a lot better <coughs> oh, fuck it hell let me just hit that <laughs> and because it started spinning that hit didn't count either so anyway, um, well my time is almost up so I might as well fucking see it through to the bitter end. Finally got a uh, bullseye, but there we go. So I did terribly on that one. So 
So, there you go. That is Night Games then uh, for Commodore 64, 6.5 out of 10. Had great potential and it does look really good, but uh, the gameplay is quite repetitive and the events go on for too long and it's nowhere near as enjoyable as I hoped it was back in the day and yeah it's, it's still not, it's still not that great so that brings this review to an end and we will see you at the next one